We spoke to you earlier this week, and it just seems like the move to Brazil has been exactly what you needed. Diego Lima's off camera right now. Talk to me about Shootbox and how they've helped you as a person and as a fighter. It's, do you know what I mean? When you know you've got people behind you that care about you and support you no matter what is going on in the world, that's powerful. And I've trained at some amazing gyms. I've traveled the world. I've trained with the best of the best. There's just something different in the water at Shoot the Box with the energy, the family bond that they possess. And I'm so happy to be a part of it now. What about what have they brought to your striking abilities that were already so clean and so evolved? What have they done for you on the feet? I mean, the truth is they're just all so game. Like anyone that comes in against you in that octagon, they're meeting you and they are not taking a step back. So it's like, all right, I guess we're going. Um, and that brings a lot because a lot of times in training, there's some training partners who kind of play around. They don't get aggressive. With these guys, it's just one thing and one thing only. We come up to fight, and that's it. And that's awesome to have as an energy. In the same vein, I know that you're working with Damian Maya as well in the grappling. Not that I, you're expecting a lot of grappling in this matchup with Jeff Neal, but should this go to the canvas, how do you feel about the evolution there? I'll strangle him unconscious. If, this, if he tries to take me down, I wobble him, I hurt him, and he gets scared and he tries to shoot. I'll break his, I'll break a limb or I'll take his soul. Either way, I'm confident. When I'm training with the likes of Charles Oliveira and Damian Maya on the daily, there's no way that I can't not learn and evolve, and I'm happy to show whenever anyone wants to try. Listen, and we're happy to watch. Speaking of Jeff Neal, your opponent on Saturday night, this is a guy you had prepared for. You had gotten a new opponent, and now we're back to Jeff Neal. Having that additional time to study him and what threats he might bring, where do you feel like you will find the most success? Distance control. Control the distance, keep him at range, make him enter my range, and when he does, make him pay. I feel like it's a very simple plan. It's not rocket science. It's typical power puncher with a shorter range fighting a longer fighter who's faster. I'm going to pick him apart, and I'm going to wait until he makes mistakes, and then I'm going to capitalize. That's it. Well, we can't wait for this fight, Ian. Thank you for your time. As always, we appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thanks.